what's going on crafty nistas so i'm in my craft room and i have some new tools that i wanted to try out and first i have this mini size sure bonder glue gun it has this fine tip on it and it says it's the detail for the perfectionist and i always have um, issues with the glue guns giving you a little bit more than you want and it's hard to get that uh, little detail in when you're gluing so I thought I would try this out on camera so I've taken out of the package and first off uh, the cord is shorter than I want so I do have an extension cord here on it I'm showing how much cord I have I've never have enough cord it seems like but that's okay that's just one little shortcoming the cord seemed a little thin it's not really a thick cord but this is a pretty small um, little glue glue gun I'm using the long sticks I um, get better use out of those um, better I'm using the kickstand here and I'm just going to warm that up for a bit So once I leave that and got it warmed up, I'm playing with the little on and off switch here. And I noticed that there is a light in the back, so that's helpful. And this also has an auto, auto on off. Um, after a while, it will go off. So that's good because my littlest handy um, glue gun, of course, it could just stay on in my little beholster there so um, that is one thing I have a shortcoming with so that's nice that this it has an auto shut off okay so I just picked up one of my little things on my desk that I can add to here and I'm just playing with some rhinestones you can see a little bit off off site there I'm trying to add a little glue and it just added just the amount I wanted I wasn't too much of course when i smushed that down a little bit some comes out but um so far so good i just wanted to share that if anyone's looking for another glue con i'll leave the link and information to my amazon page and link to where i picked that up so i also had an order from scrapbook.com um just going to open this package here and see what I pull out. Um, so far, I'm pretty much happy with that glue gun and can't wait to get started on some more projects using that. So the first thing I pull out here is some little pocket pages. I have a lot of Project Life cards that I need to start fulfilling pictures in, and I mostly use them purchase them for projects to add little sayings onto them but I said I needed to start doing some actual laying out of pictures um, the kids are getting older every day and so I just ordered this for a few bucks and seeing how I like it and if I can get into and completing them then I will order some more so the stamp chamois um, that cleans your stamps it's just a chamois cloth that will clean your stamps here I ordered um, they had a good price on scrapbook.com and then this we are memory keepers three-way punch that can't stay in stock um, I got an alert that it was in stock and I have to say at the moment it is out of stock again when I checked so and then I ordered I'm addicted to stickles I ordered a couple of colors of the new ranger stickles and I'm just going to play around and see what comes of those. This is the twinkle color. And that's glisten. So it seems like I have a little add on of some of those lately. Okay, the first thing I did was I pulled out the stickles and just wanted to see how that pulled up on this black piece of cardstock here. I 
I believe that is the one of them. And then I had a problem getting the other one to come out. So I had to stop my camera and unclog it. But once I did, you can see the outlining is that twinkle here. You can see the hint of blue or the hint of the all up against the black. And then that glisten is the other one. So very pretty colors. Okay, taking my stamp chamois out, I'm looking at the material and I was surprised at the material on here. It's sort of rubbery, which I didn't, very stiff. But I don't, I have to admit, I'm not one to get stamp cleaner or clean my stamps. So I wanted to try this out and see how it like this. So I'm just taking a random stamp and stamping on a piece of paper and then going to take my chamois. All I did was just white, wet the stampy up and then wring it out. And then this isn't a brand new stamp. Um, it's something that I just pulled out of my stamp book, but it cleans right off. As you can see there on the thing, it's nice and um, clean. So if you have OCD, it may not be good looking at the, the chamois can get pretty dirty there, but um, if not, it, it, it comes right off. So it's pretty handy for me just to wipe down and be done. So in the three-way punch here, we have a four millimeter, a seven millimeter, and a 10 millimeter curve for your corners. Like I said, this one is out of stock again on scrapbook.com, but it's, um, can be purchased at other areas, or you can put an alert to let you know when it's back in stock. And I'm really happy with it. It was really easy to punch. And I like the variety of the different corners. Um, if you do, do a lot of card making um, or diff a lot of projects with paper, I definitely recommend that one. You can see the difference in the corners already with the four and the seven millimeter. And then the 10, I was really happy with. It gives me a nice larger curve and I will be using that a lot. But I just wanted to share these new tools that I picked up for my craft room. And I hope everyone's having a great day and we'll see you later, Crafty Nistas.